Once you have created your smartphone account and connected it with your Salesforce organization, the next step is to activate it for each individual user that you'd like to be able to make phone calls and send texts. So head on over to your um, Salesforce org, go into setup, and then first just double check that the package was installed. So I went and typed in packages, clicked on installed packages, and here it is, smartphone CTI. Staying in setup, I'm gonna clear that out and I'm gonna look for my individual users. Once I see my list of users, I'm gonna select a user that I'd like to activate the CTI for. I'm gonna click edit. I'm gonna head on down to the call center and you click on this button and it's gonna show you all of the options that you have for um, for CTI dialers. Now, at your organization level, you can have as many as you want, but each user can only be assigned one at a time. Now in this org, we only happen to have smartphone. So I'm gonna make sure that's the one I select. I'm gonna head on down, I'm gonna click save. I'm gonna look for another one of my uh, colleagues here. Again, here's Vladimir. I'm gonna click on this call center button. I'm gonna select the smartphone CTI, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click save. So now that has been activated inside of the Salesforce organization, but I need to go ahead and invite them into my account here. So you're gonna come into the admin panel. You're gonna click on users, the very top sub menu, and this is the page you're gonna see. In the corner here, it's a button for invite user. Now there's two ways you can invite a user into your smartphone account. If you choose to invite someone by email, it means they won't necessarily have access to your Salesforce organization or and the information inside your CRM. They can still make calls, they can still send texts, they'll have their own inbox and voicemail, but they don't have to have access to the sensitive information that might be in your CRM. This is a popular choice for companies that use VAs or who have part-time employees or just have a structure where they don't want everyone to have access to all of the data. The other option is though, because we have a direct connection with Salesforce, is that you can um, pull somebody in exactly by Salesforce. And you click on that and it's gonna show you the list of all of the users that are in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Vladimir, who I just invited. I'm going to turn on uh, the user permissions I want to give to him. I can do it by category. I can do it by each individual permission, whatever makes sense for that person. You can also keep them off, have them just as a basic user, and then click the invite user button at the bottom. Oh, well, I'd already invited him, so just asking me to resend the invitation. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this for every single employee. You're gonna to need to activate them inside of your, activate the CTI dialer inside of their user, and you're gonna to need to invite them here. I'm gonna go ahead and invite myself. And this might give a conflict because, oh, no, oh, I was invited. Okay, now look at this window says the user was invited, but they must accept the invitation by clicking the phone button in the lower left corner of your Salesforce setup to activate the CTI dialer. So this is the final step. So I'm gonna head back into my Salesforce organization. I had to move these uh, controls out of the way, but you can see that the smartphone CTI dialer now exists in the bottom left corner here. And when I click that, it is now gonna activate smartphone for me. And I can make a call, I can send a text. Um, and you can do that right from inside And you can leave call notes. You can, when you finalize the call, there are call statuses you can add. You can also add your own call statuses back in the admin panel inside of smartphone as well. 
So just to show you one more thing that's cool about the CTI dialer is that when you're back in your lead section or any place where you have your contacts, you will see now that the phone numbers have a little phone next to them. And because the CTI dialer is embedded and connected, I can now do a click to call and it will pop. and it will um, allow you to make a click to call and you can also use the CTI dollar to text them as well and set them up for your drip, drip sequences and cadences and everything that you need inside of Salesforce. So that's the next step for getting set up. Make sure you do that for every single user that you want to be using the CTI dialer and then you will be well on your way to using Salesforce and smartphone together. Thanks so much.